Hi, I'm Langdon from Massachusetts. Please like and subscribe. I was born five years after my parents got married, and Mom thought I was God's miracle and loved spoiling me. Dad always said I needed to grow up tough, but Mom couldn't care less. On my fourth birthday, she took me to an amazing toy store and said I could get whatever I wanted. As I was going through my presents at home, Dad walked in and nearly had a stroke. How many times do I have to tell you we don't have this kind of money to waste? It's his special day, honey. Don't ruin it. What is all of this ridiculous stuff? Why did he need to buy a plastic flower? As Dad picked it up, water squirted out of it straight into his face. He likes magic tricks and pranks. Oh, does he? I didn't know we were raising a clown. I'm returning all of it. I felt so mad. And then suddenly, I felt my face do something funny. Are you making faces at me? I shook my head, but it happened again. My parents suddenly looked worried and took me to the doctor. After some tests, he explained that I had a facial twitch which could be triggered by any strong emotion. But it was nothing to worry about. But apparently mom didn't hear the doctor right because she fussed over me even more. This didn't even change after my sisters, Rose, Orchid, and Lily were born. They were triplets but had nothing in common except one thing their unconditional love for me. Once in 10th grade, my parents had to go somewhere for a few hours and told me to keep an eye on my sisters. I had an online video game match and I knew just what to do. Listen up girls, we're gonna play a game of hide and seek. You hide and I'll count till 50,000. Don't come out till I say so. The girls ran off to hide while I slipped inside my room for some video game time. I was so lost in it that I didn't realize the time till dad barged into my room. Langdon? What? What happened? We just got robbed. What? No way. I was right here, alert, on my toes. With your headphones on? I swear, Langdon, sometimes I wish I'd given birth to a bicycle instead. It would have been more useful than you. You didn't lock the front door, and the robbers just walked in and took half our things. Wait, where are the girls? We rushed inside the girls' room to find them sleeping under the bed. Phew, they're safe. That's because I told them to hide. How could you be so stupid? We just lost stuff worth thousands of dollars. If you really think about it, Dad, it's good, because now we can buy new things. Our old stuff was rotten, especially our TV. Dad looked ready to explode. Thankfully, Mom rescued me just in time. But after that day, he never trusted me with anything. It bothered me, but thank God Mom and the triplets worshipped me. Time passed, and in 12th grade, I joined the school football team. Without Dad knowing, of course. He was already unhappy with my grades, but football was my calling, and it was making me really popular too. I was standing by the lockers one day when the head cheerleader, Annie, walks right up to me. Hey, Langdon! Annie, hi. Hey, will you? What? Uh, it's Korean for how are you? Oh, funny. (laughs) I just came over to invite you to the Christmas party at my place tomorrow. I'd love it if the hottest new jock could come. Really? Me? Wow, sounds mind-blowingly awesome. I mean, yeah, I'm cool. Count me in. Awesome. Can't wait to see your handsome face. I had a blast at the party, and I couldn't stop blushing when Annie introduced me as her new catch. Soon we became an official couple, and I was the happiest guy alive. A few days later, it was Dad's 40th birthday, and I wanted to do something nice for him. His car needed some repairs, so I took it to the mechanic to have it fixed and polished. But as I was driving back, I stopped by the bakery to pick up his cake, and that's when I heard a loud bang. I ran outside, and to my horror, I saw that Dad's car had slid down the sloping street and crashed straight into a truck. Oh my god! When Dad found out, he exploded like a pressure cooker. You! You! Langdon! You make me want to rip my hair out! My car is beyond repair! Do you think I just have money lying around to buy a new one? Dad, I'm so sorry I got it fixed! For you! I guess I just forgot to put the brakes- You just forgot? How easy is it for you to say this every time? I've tried to make you more responsible, but I'm just done with you.
I'm sending you to an army boarding school. Dad, no, I can't leave my football. I clapped my hand over my mouth as I realized I'd let it slip out. But Dad didn't even look shocked, just really disappointed. You think I don't know you sneak around and lie to me to play football? If you trusted me, I wouldn't have to. You should really come see me play sometime. Dad, I'm really good. I don't care, son. Your mom and I are leaving for your aunt's wedding tomorrow. But next week when I'm back, I'll ship you off. That's final. Dad didn't hear another word, and the next morning, my parents left. I'm sorry, bro. Dad forced us to tell the truth. It's okay, but now I need you guys to back me up. Dad needs to see I'm responsible, so we have new roles starting today. Rose, you're in charge of the dishes. Lily, I want you to make breakfast, and Orchid, you'll manage the laundry. And you? I'll supervise. That's the biggest responsibility. The next few days, everything went really smoothly. But then, one morning, my sisters woke me up, screaming. What happened? It's mom and dad. They're missing. My sisters showed me the news, which said the plane they were on had disappeared. Search teams were trying hard to locate it. This can't be happening. Oh my god, what will we do now? I, 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 I can't breathe. She's having a panic attack. She has panic attacks? Since when? We calmed her down and put her to bed, but I couldn't stop thinking how I never knew of Rose's panic attacks. I felt terrible. I stayed up all night reading the news about my parents, but it was the same. How was I supposed to make this work? What if they didn't come back? I didn't even hug them before they left. We stayed at home the next few days, waiting around for news of our parents, but none came. And when we returned to school, everyone was looking at us with pity. Great! People are treating us like we're orphans already! Don't say that! Just then, Annie appeared out of nowhere. Ah, oh, baby! Your sisters look terrible! How are you holding up? Better than your fake eyelashes! Lily, behave. We're fine, babe. I tried calling you. Yeah, you know I always have such a busy calendar, babe. But you are right here all the time. I'll see you around, Poochie Poo. Seriously, how do you tolerate her? She's more fake than Monopoly money. I love her, okay? So you better get used to having her around. No, I won't. And after that day, Lily kept going from bad to worse. She would turn up late at home and get angry for the weirdest reasons. Whenever I asked her what was wrong, she said, said she was just fine. To make matters worse, we fell short of cash, so I had to work part-time as a mechanic. Things were tough. But thank God for Annie, or I would have gone crazy. One morning in school, Annie and I were sitting in the cafeteria when Lily walked up to us. We need to talk, Langdon. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? Take your middle somewhere else. I need to talk to my brother. Lily, we can talk at home. Don't create a scene here, please. Everyone is staring. Oh, so you're worried I'll spoil your precious reputation now? Don't you care about your family at all? Oh my God, you're so loud. Babe, tell her to leave. Suddenly, Lily went crazy and emptied a can of yogurt on Annie's head. There, enjoy your lunch. What the heck, Lily? Annie, I'm so sorry. Annie stormed off, and I felt furious at Lily. The next evening when I returned from work, I went to her room to talk to Lily, but she wasn't there. She wasn't even answering her phone, and it was almost midnight. I informed the police, but they told me to wait for 24 hours. I was worried sick, so I rushed to Annie. Her dad worked with the government, so I was hoping she could help. But to my surprise, she was having a party, and I wasn't invited? As I looked around for her, I saw her in the corner with some random jock. What the heck? You're cheating on me? Really, Langdon? You really thought after what your sister did, I'd still date you? Take a hint and get lost. I felt stunned and angry, and my face started twitching. Annie just rolled her eyes. Ugh, your face is doing its weird thing again, and you look super stupid. And then she just started making out with him. I tried pulling her arm, but the guy with her pushed me away. I grabbed a glass near me to dump juice on him, but she pushed me, and the juice ended up all over her hair as she screamed. Lily was right. She was super fake. There was no way Annie was helping me now, so I left. Only to find Lily in the parking lot. Do you know what time it is? I've been searching for you everywhere. 
Now you found me, so leave. I have a party to attend. You hate Annie. Why are you at her party? You're coming home with me. Don't tell me what to do. You've always done whatever you want. But now that I have my freedom, you can't stand it? You're not my dad. What's wrong with you? Have you forgotten I'm your older brother? Older brothers are responsible, so don't call yourself that. Now move. Her words felt like a slap in my face. I might be a brat, but I loved my sisters, and this made me feel defeated. I'd let my parents down. For the next few days, I was drowned in work. With my job and the school announcing the annual sports scholarship, I had no time to sit and sulk if I wanted to set a good example for my sisters. As for Lily, I asked Orchid to download Locatify on her phone without letting her know so I could keep an eye on her. One night, I was at the garage when I got a frantic call from Orchid. Hurry! It's Rose! She had another panic attack and she fainted. We quickly took Rose to the hospital, but we couldn't get hold of Lily. I opened Locatify to track her and it showed she she was at school. What was this girl doing there at night? Doctors told us Rose was stable, but he wanted to keep her under observation for a few hours. You go after Lily. I got this. Just be careful and don't beat yourself up. You're doing everything you can. Thanks, Orchid. I quietly entered the school building and it was pitch dark. Suddenly, I saw lights flicker from the school's main office and Lily was leaving with a fat envelope. Lily? Langdon? You scared me! Why are you here? Wrong question! What are you doing here and what's that? I was... Oh my god! I'm so sorry! Annie made me do it! She said if I stole this money for her, she'd get her dad to find information about mom and dad. I just felt so desperate, so... I agreed. You think I didn't try that? I already asked her a thousand times and she always said her dad's trying. But now I'm certain she never even asked him. Oh God, I'm so stupid. That witch took advantage of me, probably just to punish me for being rude to her. You should have just told me, Lily. She warned me not to or our deal was off. Also, I was so mad at you. I don't even know why. I'm such a mess. <sighs> No, you're not. You're just a kid, Lily, and everything going on with mom and dad is a lot to handle. Now, we're gonna put that money back and leave before we get caught. Or wait, I have a better idea. Annie had cheated on me and manipulated my sister. I wasn't gonna let her go this easy. We tiptoed our way to her locker and slid the money in. Next, we dropped an anonymous tip to the principal saying that Annie stole money from the school's trip fund. The plan was a success as the next morning, the entire school saw what a whack job Annie was when the principal opened her locker. What? I didn't steal this. Lily did. Ask her. We found the money in your locker, Annie. There's enough proof to get you expelled. Call your dad. Now. No, please. He'll ground me for life. Please, I'll do anything. I'll clean the washrooms for a month. Just don't call my dad. He's already cut my allowance. But of course, the principal did call him. And she was expelled. Good riddance. Girls, I know I've been an idiot in the past, but I promise I'll do better. You're the best sisters anyone could ask for. What's that? What? You're getting emotional. Aww, such a cutie. You're not so bad either. My finals came around the next week, and I actually managed to pass with decent grades. And I bagged a sports scholarship to college based on my football skills. One morning, when we were leaving for school, I saw a police van pull into our driveway, and my parents stepped out. Mom? Dad? Oh my god, you're back! Oh my babies, I thought I'd never see you again. What happened? Where where were you? How are you? Mom and Dad told us how their plane had to make an emergency landing in a forest with no connectivity, and it was only after weeks that the rescue team found them. Those were the worst weeks of our lives, not knowing if we'll ever see you again. But Langdon, I'm so proud of you, son. You did a fine job. And nothing's stolen, it seems. Hm. I, I'm so sorry, Dad. I never knew your struggles till I was knee-deep in mine. I'll be better, and I love you. I love you too, son. And I think I'd like to to see you play football sometime. Really? So that means no boarding school? Don't answer that. I'm just happy you're here. Family really is everything.